I was really a failure. Like really, 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 really a failure. Like I, I dropped out of college to make music, but then I stopped making music. I mean, like really, like just like not even an epic failure, just sort of like a sad, pathetic failure. Just like kind of. A real epic failure you could get behind. Like I tried this big thing and it failed, and I lost everything. No, I just kind of like frittered my years away doing nothing and being in dead end relationships, and dead end bands and stuff. And I didn't take responsibility for much. I kind of just like felt bad for myself and wondered why my life wasn't better and stuff like that. And then when I was about 26, I just realized that wow, this. My life is not at all going the way I wanted to go. This is not what I expected. I was always the youngest guy. Like when I was like 16, I was in a band where everybody else was in their 20s, and I was like the songwriter and singer, played guitar, and I was always like the kid. And then suddenly I was like 26, and I wasn't doing anything, and I was like, that just seemed like a little too old to be doing nothing. And you know, not long after, like David Foster Wallace put out the book Infinite Jest. And it really just floored. It really depressed me because I was like, if I start right now, he's older than me. But if I started right now, I wouldn't get it done in time to be done with something, write something like that by the time I was his age and have it come out. It's not possible. So I don't know. I was, I was pretty disappointed with myself, and I kind of just went. I went to therapy basically with, a, with an amazing person who. Where and I just, I just, my, I was just like, I'm not good at my life. I'm just bad at it, and I don't, I don't care what it is. It's, I don't care what you tell me. Like I, don't, I just want to not do this anymore. I just need to do something else. And I started just being, like, realizing how, how I was lazy, but lazy never felt right when I heard that. When I said it to myself, I was like, hey, you're lazy. So it wasn't that I was lazy. I was just really afraid. I was really afraid of failing. All my life, I'd been precocious. I was supposed to be smart. I was supposed to be creative, and I think hearing those things makes you scared that you're going to do something stupid or do something uninteresting, and no one will see you as smart or creative anymore. I've never been given any credit for being hardworking, being you know diligent or anything, and so all my credits were based on these like attributes that I had no control over. Like all this, you know, it's like being tall. Congratulations, you're tall. It's not being you can get excited. About. So I realized that I had kind of like been so afraid of failing and looking bad that I didn't do anything. That I just did nothing, you know. And I could claim some sort of safety in doing nothing. But then I decided that that's pathetic, and I need to work against all of my instincts and start doing things.